What's up guys to another crazy installment of For the Greater. Wah! And this time we've got some great comments to read. So without further ado, let's go to Commander Ganch. He says, Iron Hands, such an underused chapter. Still my favorite though. Um, honestly, I don't know why they're so underused because their chapter tactics is pretty good. They got feel no pain, so in my opinion, they're good. And their color scheme is awesome, so. That was actually going to, going to be one of the very first uh, chapters I wanted to collect <clears throat> the Iron Hands as opposed to the Iron, no, the Imperial Fist. Imperial Fist. <clears throat> but I changed my mind because yellow. <laughs> Pinky Bird 77 you guys should challenge Mini Wargaming. I think that would be an awesome bat rep. Yeah, it would be really fun. Also, do you, well, let's answer that first. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it would be really awesome to challenge them. We just have to find the time. We have to schedule the time to go right. up there and... Uh, I mean, it's not Wait, too man. far, but yeah. it's just, yeah. Because we're in Chicago, so... It's like, what, an hour or something like that? Yeah, it'd probably be like... Three? Six. Because, <laughs> okay. like, going to Wisconsin Dells is six. Right, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, around there. But, yeah, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's something that we, we probably would, will do. Yeah, I'd want to face Dave. I don't <laughs> know why. I, I just I just want to go against them. I think out of mini war game, <laughs> I mean, the person that keeps me coming back is uh, Matt. Matt? Well, yeah. he is, like, the... Mastermind, yeah. I think you can take on his uh, nids. No, his not at all. My <laughs> my playing skills are not that great. So you're just gonna get swept. Yeah, uh, and then he also says, also, do you like the Torox? Torox Prime? Question mark? Question mark? Torox. What's the Torox? Is that that um like lizard-looking sculpt thing? If oh. that's it, then yes. Yeah, if, if that's the one, it looks pretty badass. I heard that it's expensive. Well, I mean, I saw that it was expensive. It was like a hundred something bucks. Which you can convert to a um, squigoth or something, but yeah. If that's the, the thing that you're you're talking about. Personally, I hate it, Paul. But I think the actual troops look awesome. And it's probably not what I was thinking. <laughs> if it's troops, then. Uh, Torox. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up while we answer the next question. Alrighty, the next question is... Alvodar Almankar. Uh, I think I spelled that right. <laughs> uh, where, do you where are you from, cabrones? You look Latino's way. De donde son? Uh, carnales. Carnales. Uh, but yeah, we are Hispanic. We reign from the jungles of the Aztecs and the Mayans. <laughs> we live in or the Chicago land area. Right. Um, thank you for your colorful comment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tumblr. I feel so basic because my favorite cha chapter is the Blood Ant Ravens. Yeah, no. it just probably shows that you played the Dawn of War game before you actually played the, the tabletop game. Yeah, which is not a bad idea, because they're pretty fun, especially with the new one coming out. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, Next question, does, does Cyrus? The Cyrus? He just says, Grey Knight slash Blood Angels for the win! That would be a pretty beast army. But I, I feel like they're both too close combat orientated, so you're gonna need some uh, range support. Get yourself some Eldar or Necron or Tau. Commander Ganch once again says, I like this channel because there aren't thousands of comments and I feel like I can actually be noticed. Yeah, I see you're being noticed right now, Commander what? Ganch. Ganch, what's that mean? <laughs> I'll show you a Ganch. <laughs> Juan Francisco Gonzalez Garza, zero megas? Zero Megas? Space Wolves! That's your favorite army? Nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool army. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Zielinski. Is there any more lore on Gaskell? Or, or is that as far as the story goes? <laughs> and more bat reps, please! I like the smaller versions. So, no, there's no more lore for God School. Um, he is basically fighting with the Tyranids right now, and he's probably gonna escape that, or walk away from that and start another battle, because he needs what, three more raging battles across the galaxy to uh, enact Ragnarok? That's what he, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Uh, so yeah, no, not nothing yet. And we will get to these bat reps, but we do need your help. So head over to Patreon and become Pledgers to One Line Syndicate. Yeah, because it's a simple dollar, uh, so that dollar a month was, is going to help us create battle reports that go with the lore that we're going to make up. Mm -hmm. And then we're also, like the, um, 
the new video, the one where it's like the battle pit, uh, that is really hard to make. So by you contributing, that's uh, making sure that in the future we're going to continue that series. So please contribute. Yeah, it goes a long way. And if not, just like, comment, and share, especially right. share. Yeah. Seth Vids, 320, not apothecaries, but chaplains. Thank you. You're right. Um, Rob, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah. right, you're right. Yeah. Rob Lockwood says, or Lockerman, Woot made it to the title. LOL. Uh, technically, both answers you said, Gersh, were correct. A DM is a dungeon master for Dungeons and Dragons, and a GM is a game master for mostly all the other RPGs. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you. That's another video uh, series that I wanted to do, like play a um, kind of like what Vaults of Terra is doing, um, but just everybody in the same room, so you don't have that uh, look of everybody on a webcam. Um, but do a little like game. What is it called? What was it? I think it's called Dark Heresy that they're playing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So do something like that. Support, and you might see that. Rizar Z's Red Commissars. Okay. <laughs> Gareth Vesobas. I've been watching you guys since you started doing Warhammer lore, and I have to say that I'm really glad you've stuck around. Thank you. Yep. It's not easy. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. Coming home from work and being tired and then be like, oh shit, I gotta put out a video. Mm -hmm. Waiting for babies to go to sleep and have to be real quiet while trying to record is tough. But he continues on to say, you guys keep on improving and getting better and better. Thank you. Thanks again. You're one of the few channels that actually respond to fans and listen to the feedback. Keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, because uh, without you guys, we are nothing. So that's why we gotta listen to what you guys want. Vladimir Ryu says, the wah isn't cringy. Gersh's reading gives me goosebumps and shivers. Ooh, Ooh. I have that effect on you. Watch out, R.L. Stein might sue you. Oh. Because he gives him goosebumps. And did he sue the other guy? I, I, did you watch the Goosebumps movie? I did not because it looked pretty bad. <laughs> did you guys watch the Goosebumps movie? Comment down below. I wasn't a big Goosebumps reader. I was. I read every everyone I could. I mm -hmm. rushed to my uh, school library and tried to check them out. <laughs> you elbow kids mm -hmm. before you get them. Curb stomp their teeth. <laughs> what? Okay. Next question. Uh, Gage Lesto. How do you feel about the Emperor feeding Nurgle? It's cool because in a way, it's cool, but at the same time, it kind of messes with the lore. Mm -hmm. It's like, how is he all powerful, but he's feeding Nurgle? Um, it kind of makes you angry, but then at the same time, he's not a god. Like, that proves that he's not a god. He is but a man. Yeah, because I've never heard of corn feeding Nurgle. Uh, Slanesh doesn't feed Zinch, so they might help each other and they might work with each other, but they don't feed. Right. And if they do other. work with each other, it's only to further their own interests. Unless the Emperor is actually feeding Nurgle, but working for his own interest. But that well, probably wouldn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucas yes. Clifford. I think a good TV show... Did we already read that one? Mm, no. No. I think a good TV show would be a 30... Would be in 30K. From the creation of the Primarchs to the end of Horus Heresy. I agree. Mm -hmm. And at the end, show the fate of the Primarchs. Or have text come up and explain. Not the text. Show. Yeah. Um, I just watched War Warcraft. Awesome, I haven't awesome seen that yet, movie. So. Um, and like throughout the entire thing, all I'm thinking is this could be 40k. It would be awesome if that could be 40k because if you have orcs, you have guys in huge armor and whatnot. Um, you got librarians, well, mages. Mages, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the special effects for the magic was awesome. Like. Really, really good movie. The only thing that, um, I guess kind of bugged me is like when the humans would talk, their dialogue was kind of, uh, what's the word? Cringy. Not cringy. <laughs> uh, it was stereotypical. I don't know. It was just like, oh, that's, that's, that's something that you would hear in a, a kid's movie, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Like 40 friendship and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay. But yeah, other than that, that movie was awesome. Watch it. You'll enjoy it. If you're an orc player, you'll be like, these orcs are sissies. <laughs> um, next question. Lord Fire Ice. Very cool, guys. Yet, here's another question from my brain box. If you could destroy any faction in the 40k, which one would you kill? 
but at the cost of empowering its biggest mortal enemy. For example, if you kill off the Chaos, then the regular Marines would be really, really powerful. <clears throat> kill the humans so that the orcs can become super powerful. Um, and then at the same time, if you kill off the humans, then GW has to like step their game up because half of the players, or even more half of the, like, 85% of Warhammer 40k players play some type of Imperium of Man uh, unit. So, they'll put more work into the other models, specifically orcs. Now, well, he said lower white though, right? Yeah, lower white. Because orcs are, I want orcs to get stronger. Well, I would want to kill probably the Dark Eldar, so that the Eldar can become great once again. Yeah, or Slanesh. I would also like to kill Slanesh off, so that the Eldar can... Because I feel like the Eldar are just cut and paste from the lore of uh, like the Lord of the Rings and whatnot, and they try to fit it in with space. So if, if you put more attention to them, if you give them more power, then they become more awesome. Because uh, if you checked out our gods video, it is incredible lore. So uh, yeah. Next question. Um, have we read from a Lord Fire Ice yet? Uh, we just did one. Oh yeah, that's it. Um, Lucid Dreamer. First played Dawn of War and then bought a few books and started watching your vids. Thank you. Love the 40k universe and these videos answer so many questions and give me new ones. Great job. Y'all, keep it up. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, LTLM. <clears throat> kind of like the Irish, the most Welsh preferred to be called Welsh. Makes sense. We are a very underrated country even though, even though we have our own language, our own parliament, and control some of Britain's mints. Then so that's where money is made, not the uh, candy. I thought you meant, like, what's that one chocolate? Ferro? Ferrero Rocher. Yeah. <laughs> but, but cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, the Flying Fuhrer. Storm, war Storm Wardens because Scottish Highlanders in spes space who you I hope that's a, that's a space yeah it's space who use Scottish claymores and honor duel enemies it's pretty cool but in 40k there is no honor so that'll only get you killed <laughs> or corrupted by corn yeah next question dragon punch 903 would you like a space marine chapter that secretly kills other marines and uses their war gear as their own for example having thunder wolves and salamander armor on marines with white scars bikes all in one army. Yeah, that'd be cool. It sounds like um, the Death Watch, because yeah. you know the Death Watch is made up of so many different um, things. Right. But yeah, so that would be a Chaos Space Marine Army then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. And that's just like a secret Inquisition kind of thing. But I mean, why would they want to hurt their own factions? I don't know. But yeah, Chaos would make the most sense. Yeah. Blake D. Although not actually a chapter, I've always been a fan of Death Watch Marines. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool Marines. They are. Painting-wise, at first I was like, oh, that, that that would look goofy. You have all these different chapters. Um, but then you look at all the work that they that people have done for that box set that came out for the Death Watch, mm -hmm. and it's like, wow, they really make them look like a unit. Yeah, they synergize even though they're different. Yep. And those are the questions for this week. Thank you so much for commenting. Please comment down below any questions that you would like us to answer for next week. You guys are being awesome by supporting this channel and asking questions, commenting, all that cool stuff. Yep. So thank you so much. This was... Oh, no, wait, no, wait, what? <laughs> this is Gershwan. In the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate. Out of here. <laughs>